All right. I will call this special meeting of the uh, Board of Education of the Brown and Olivia Lake Lillian Independent School District number 2534 to order. Um, we will begin with our mission statement. The mission of the Bold <laughs> School District is to provide all learners in the Bold, Bold community an education designed to develop the creativity, character, and confidence necessary to flourish in a changing global society. And with that, uh, 607, well, I already called the meeting to order, but I didn't record the time, so 6.07 p.m. And could I get an approval of the agenda? So moved, Benson. Motion is made by Benson. Second. Seconded by Sagadol. Any discussion or questions? Hearing nothing, we will vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carries. Uh, recognition of visitors to the board meeting. Thank you all for coming out and thank you for the community members and staff members who have been part of, I don't, I think our student, student left, she got out of here, but thank you all for being part of this day and thank you all for coming to observe the rest of the community. So. Uh, we will move on then. We have one item of new business and it's to discuss the candidates and the interviews from today and try to basically from that try to decide where we go next. So we had four candidates. Um, we the board discussed between interviews each candidate you know just a little bit kind of what we thought what um, what we saw that was good what we saw that was maybe not as good. Um, and we also heard from the community and it, it, very interesting I thought because they had some different definitely a different perspective than what we had so yeah if anybody would like to expound further I was gonna say the same thing I was kind of shocked at just hearing some of the differences that they had seen versus what we had and it's just goes to show that people do interview differently and yeah I was I kind of even probably dropped my jaw like mm -hmm. wow that's what they thought because that's not what I thought right I was a little disappointed in our interviews because we only got I wish we would have had another 15 minutes or 20 minutes because we missed just one question on the end so I kind of feel like I got a half the interview and then when y'all came up and, and brought your information, I thought, oh, no, I wish I would have got to finish it out. So I feel like I missed out on some of it, so I don't feel like I can make a complete, I don't know, I just don't feel complete, I guess. But that's my opinion. All right, anybody have any other, I mean. I thought it should be known, too, that the community, when they talked about the, uh, when they talked about the, um, candidates that they said this was the best group of candidates that they had interviewed as a group mm -hmm. um, as far as it being very even so that uh, we were hoping that it would be able to narrow down very quickly and uh, they didn't help that at all. <laughs> <laughs> and they did because <laughs> they had different insight on it. Mm -hmm. But yes, all the candidates were very good to me. You know, the thing we discussed too is you know, a, lot of, a lot of the answers we received were targeted to a lot of the same types of information, so listening and learning and fashion and math. Um, so we heard a lot of the same messages, and it, um, I guess my perspective is I, you know, I'm going to take away more of kind of what I've been hearing from other people, um, not just necessarily the reading on paper. So that's all I'm going to be basing my decisions on um, that's, that's what I'm going to go off of too so Melissa do you want to elaborate but when you say based on what you've heard other people yeah, you're just, talking about people you've reached out yep, to yep different people have references and different yeah. um, different interest groups thank you so I guess what we're looking for tonight is a, a you know we can we can definitely talk more but I just I guess to kind of clarify things we're looking for you know, I have Thursday set up for a second interview. 
You can choose to do, if there's a couple of candidates you want to do second interviews with, or if there's one that stood out enough that you want to make a decision. It, you know, that, that's kind of where what we're doing right now, just to um, help aid in discussion. I agree with Sandy. It would be nice to get through more questions and to ask more questions, deeper questions. Um, so I don't have a problem with Thursday night bringing two back and then have a final interview, being able to delve a little deeper and find out a little more. I know people have talked to about um, uh, just being able to, I would like to be able to hear some of the things that these people want. Because we can hear the exact same stuff. All right. So that's just where I'm, that's just where I'm. To hear what they, the perspective of this, in some cases, really different from what my Honestly, I wouldn't have a problem with going through them all again. Not maybe not each for an hour, but maybe even a half hour or whatever, just to get a little deeper. I mean, <coughs> what's the difference? We've got well, I, two yeah. or four. What's, what would be the difference if we do two or four? We're starting at six, so I prefer not to. I would prefer to narrow it down. I would rather because I don't feel seven or even picking one. Six o'clock. I'm sorry. I really liked all the comments from the staff and the community members. Um, if anything, it helped kind of push me in the more directions of um, just from our interview. The things that stuck out for me for certain ones really kind of honed that in a little bit more just from getting your little bit different take on and some of the questions that you guys got just kind of solidified in my head a couple more of them. Um, it's a little difficult because I do too want to hear two more people come back. Whether it's all four, that I'm fine with that too. That doesn't bother me. But now it's thank you to you guys and your feedback that helps. You're steer, you're helping me steer myself too as to which ones I like. Too. So thank you for that. Do you think a half hour will be enough with each one? You know what I'm saying. Do we need to do it at a different time when we can have more time? Because we were at 45 minutes, and that was too short. So I'm just wondering, you know, time time limit-wise. Well, if you, I, I think, if, sorry, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you, no, oh, just the question saying, was okay, to you. I mean, so. well, I'd be fine with another 45 minutes. I would feel better putting all my information together, and, and, and I do appreciate what, what the staff and community and everybody has to say, but then I'm sitting over here trying to write what everybody kind of said, and I feel like I'm just like, hurt, rush, rush, hurry, hurry, and I don't feel good about any kind of a decision I would make tonight of right. pulling two out because, like you said, there's things that we didn't, if you could copy all those and give them all to us, and I would like to read through some of the things that they might have seen from their end that we didn't get to see from our end. I mean... I would hate to lessen somebody because of maybe something we didn't get and they did or they got it and we didn't. I mean, I, I just don't feel good about that. So how much more time? I mean, that's, that's the question. Um, I would think some of these people are interviewing elsewhere, so that could also be a factor. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't feel that I would need to bring back all four. Um, in, just in my perspective, I think we could narrow, I feel like I could narrow it down to two. Um, and then second interview, what questions? I mean, that's what you guys, if these questions aren't good enough and you know, they're not what you want, then we need to come up with some questions, but they also need to be vetted for, to make sure that they're appropriate to ask, you know, because there are things that we have to kind of adhere to. So, um, do we need to look at um, because if you also want to look at all of this too which definitely can can definitely do do we want to look at skipping Thursday um, going past so obviously we wouldn't keep to the timeline of, of keeping the um, you know possible approval of the contract on Monday 
but we'd, we'd go into, we'd probably, we'd be looking at June then for approval of contract. I guess just, I mean, just wanting to. Well, I guess I'd rather be safe than sorry in the end. I'd like to get all my ducks in a row and go through. I, honestly, I really, I want to hear what these people had to say. I want the details because, I mean, realistically, they got a lot more information probably than we did. And that is important information to me that I might take from who, I mean, somebody that puts it on paper but maybe didn't want to say it out in the public. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's things that you don't, we probably didn't even get to see in those <laughs> questions that I would like to see before I make any kind of a decision. Well, these aren't, these aren't, I don't want to these aren't, on our questions. That, different questions. I know this one, okay. But I just don't want to rush the process and then turn around later and it might be the should have, would have, could have, did. Oh, we were in a hurry. Let's just hurry, hurry, do, do. I don't want to be that board okay. that rushes it through and then all of a sudden we look hindsight's great and foresight and we miss something. Okay. I guess I would like to read through those before I decide anything. Or maybe bring them back for, and then maybe can we have another meeting and just say, okay, now we've read them, now we've got more before we bring them back? Can we do that? I need time. I'm I'm looking at timeline here. I'm looking at, so, I mean. I don't want this timeline stretched out. We need to make it. We don't have time to have well, a Well, I don't feel good about making a decision. Today. Today. Like, two weeks from now, I, I don't no, think it's No, not two fair. weeks. I'm not I saying mean, two weeks. next week is going to be, I think it's is there, well. Is there any we could. Eliminate? That you would eliminate? Is there anybody? I can I, could, I thought I had two, but then looked under them, I, it, it, I for sure one that I would eliminate. I probably could eliminate one if I really had to. I could probably eliminate two, but I for sure could eliminate one. So why don't we try to narrow it down as much as we can sure. and save some of it? The one that I would I would probably eliminate for myself would be Corey and not because of anything that she did wrong. Uh, reading through the things that the community said, fantastic communicator, great salesperson, very personable, just very prepared. I mean, very, very prepared. Um, the, the things that I had written down too was um, some of the way, some of her speak is very, it's over my head. When she was talking about windows and mirrors and mirrors and windows and I didn't I, I'm not I'm not a wise man but um, some of the things that was brought up here for her her one thing is does her previous skill set does it match this job would this be the job for her to start out doing as a superintendent and I just think it's overwhelming I think she would be I think she would have a hard time with it because it is a it's a tough situation this is a this is a fire we're going into, and uh, so nothing personal on it. I think she interviewed fantastic. I just don't think personally this is the job for her. I think, like we said, she's too nice. Yeah. You know that I'm afraid that she would she wouldn't be able to have that backbone to to be. I mean, she's super sweet, and not, and there, like I agree with you, there's nothing personal. I just think that she's too nice. So she would be one that I would eliminate as well. And that was the only negative thing I heard yeah. too was talking to members of the victims because of their humble personality. You see me not say what needs to be said in those challenging times. She doesn't want to be confrontational. Mm -hmm. Well, I did O'Brien. You said it perfectly. She was great. Great mm -hmm. interviewer. Yeah, very great. great person. She would follow each one of us when yeah. we talk. She would, I mean, she turned in that chair. She was focused on each one of us. She interviewed great. She, she's she got good backing behind her, but like Brian said, this is a tough job, and I just don't think it's for someone with not a lot of experience. It's got to be somebody with some experience behind them that's going to help us get through what we need to go through. I felt the same way. Corey was on um, the bottom one too, and that's why we kind of came to the community part. I felt like Corey was the top. Yeah. A lot of people like, you look strong. I'm like, oh, this is just so prepared to get. Yeah, everything that we talked about with the interview, everything's been coordinated. Corey did a good job. 
she is a book of her own. And I have a little bit different viewpoint. Um, I was looking at, you know, she's managing $3.5 million in that school district. Yep, the population's 43,000. There's a 6,500 um, student enrollment there. But she has to manage $3.5 million to Pam that she talks about being financially viable. So we're, we're talking with somebody that knows how to manage money. Um, she really um, talks about trust and transparency. Listening and learning to community is top priority for her. Um, she, I, I don't know, that, that part right there, and, and along with what Everyone said here too, they said, yeah, she's a great salesperson, she's a master of graphics, um, she's outgoing, she's sure of herself, a um, master communicator, she's positive, upbeat, she's articulate. Um, the only negative thing that the um, public said is that um, she was, they thought maybe she was unsure of how to act with younger children, her transition from a larger district to a smaller district, because it is shrinking. That, that would definitely be an eye-opener. I just see anybody who's managing big funds like that and has to be fiscally viable, that's not something just to cast aside, I feel anyway. That's something you, you definitely have to do. I definitely don't cast it aside, but I think I have to, I, I side with kind of what's been said on the, that she's not, she wasn't my top one. She's great and she will be, she will be great somewhere else. I just don't know if she is what Bold needs right now. I, that's just my my thought and feeling. That would be my concern. Is I mean I don't. That'd be that'd be big for a person that's coming. That's I mean she's so sweet. I would I don't know. That would be my hard thing. Mm -hmm. Well, another thing too. Um, I just thought it was so <laughs> awesome because she said she didn't expect the community members to come to them when they were talking about the referendum. She actually went to the community mm -hmm. members, went out to them yep. to explain where their tax dollars were going to be. Right. I think just about every candidate talked about relationships mm -hmm. with the community yeah. and with <clears throat> staff and with students. She says we just need to be safe. I'm just reading what I wrote. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Is there anyone else that you guys feel you could? You're going to hate. You might hate me. I, there's something about John that I just can't put my finger on. I, me too. I, I agree. I don't. I heard that she was like saying all of her kids. I don't know what it is. 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 Yeah, and she I just that sticks out in my mind. You know, I'm not coming in to do that. You know, it's, it's going to be more time to make those tough decisions. Mm -hmm. So I'm not quite sure. But I, I don't know. I I didn't have a good vibe on that one. Well, I thought he had a lot of knowledge in his mm -hmm. background. I mean, he had bonds, referendums, administration, develop, developing and overseeing budgets, special ed program, athletic director. He's got superintendent license. Um, he said he's transparent with staff, um, technology background. To me, that's just a whole lot of stuff to not take a second look at. I, I agree. I, I really think so, too. He's got a little bit different demeanor, which, um, like everyone here pointed out, that he's probably a little more low-key. Low, low um, I just liked all his answers, too. I think he has a lot of knowledge of mine. He's, the one I think I agree with everyone here is the weakest one here, or not the weakest, but the one that had a, the least amount of strength from what you guys picked out was Mr. Minton. I feel, too, that his skill set does not align with being superintendent right now. And he's a nice guy. He's a wonderful um, principal. I've said this all along. I think he's great with kids in robotics. He just doesn't have enough um, financial background, business, back, business education. I just think he would struggle in, in like Mrs. Um, I don't know what name she's sitting uh, right next to you. Mom. Mom. Mrs. Mom said one of the things is, is that 
he he knows people, but that can and he also that can work against you too, which I still don't understand. But I just feel like we need to start fresh, like was stated at one of our um, meetings, to get somebody new in there. I would love to see him stay on board because I think with that whatever superintendent we would get. He would be a great positive asset to have in the school already because he's so well listed. But I feel that's our weakest candidate. We, we need somebody that's more with business and finance. And if this Mr. Um, John Wiley, he's the one who talked about the ESSER funds and he talked about the COVID stuff. And I'm like, those are things that need to be discussed. We need to know the financials before we can move forward our district. We have to know where we're sitting, where our future is going to be looking like with dollars and um, I, I was impressed with him because he did bring information out that we didn't even know about. Mm -hmm. That I liked. Which I was like, oh, like I, I think that, that was, I thought that was a good thing. I mean, I'm not that because like, here's, we should because, know well, that. I think I that for me the was pot. the way he approached it was like, well, do you know about this? Yeah. So, I felt like was, that's kind of shady. I felt like, it stirred the pot. Yeah. Yes. I don't. Yeah, I, I, I did. Because it was like, well, do, do you know? So it's kind of like, hmm, what are you getting at? This is, and I mentioned this to you guys too, and it's still like, <coughs> bothersome to me, but he's been interviewing all spring and he hasn't been offered a position. I'm just like, why? Why? You know, what's going on that he has not been offered a position yet? And, you know, he's been to, I'm sure this is his seventh. And <laughs> what's going on? What are they know that us. we don't? Yeah. Well, then maybe we should. That's, that is alarming to me, I guess. And I appreciate that. I do. But I think we should take some time because he's got a lot of the assets that we're looking at and put him off to the side. I don't think we're going to pass I worry that he's maybe not extroverted. We need somebody in this position that will get out in the community and talk to people and make those connections, which I'm not saying he won't, but I. He, he is laid back. I I think he will, but he flat out said it's going to take me some time. Right. That, that was one of the questions about what was his first year. He kind of said, my first year, he made the comment that I want the cheese. Yeah. It's like, who moved my cheese? He just wanted to make any changes, is what, how I said it. So it would take me that long to kind of get to know the people in the community. We don't have that kind of time. I didn't feel like we have that kind of time. That was the only thing that concerned me was um, just that he was going to take that first year to get to know the community and know his staff and know all of that. Um, I, like that he I like that he's ready to. I'd like to demo. Oh, so you, you go ahead. No. <laughs> I, I, you know, I believe I forget. heard John. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I like the way he involves the teachers and he involves the people so they know they're empowered and they know you know what's going on with things. Um, my biggest concern with him is just the, the timeline. Um, for Jim Menton, in his case, Jim Menton knows what we're in. And the one thing I wrote down was... Um, a new person was, and this was before we met Mr. Wiley or Willie. Wiley. Wiley. Sorry about that. Um, it is Willie. Is it Willie? Uh, All right. I said, I, well, I just said, wrote wow. down a new person will need to create relationships, and that takes time. We have someone who's, who's uh, vested in the community, has relationships with the community, and is willing to change the process if necessary. And those are some of the questions I would like to ask him is, what would you do different? Just to know it. Um, like like the community people said too before, it, it's tough to do an interview in your school mm -hmm. because you don't want to call anybody out on anything. And that's fantastic that you would not want to throw anybody under the bus or say anything. So that loyalty side of it, spectacular. Um, I believe personally, Jim is a friend of mine, but I believe personally he deserves a chance to try to get the job. And he should be asked more questions and more directly to see what he thinks would be different. 
So that's what I say. I agree completely his history. We only have one candidate with superintendent experience. Mm -hmm. One. That has been a superintendent of a high school. So to say about budgeting and all the things and what they've done, um, if you want to go strictly on running a school district, there's only one that's done it. So I agree that that deserves some credit to it, that he has done it. Um, the rest get on a similar page. And I believe Mr. Menton, he has commitment and he has time served that he deserves an opportunity. Um, those would be my first two that I would do. Um, but I'm, I'm here, I'm just a, a piece. I'm just one piece. So but you're that's like Mr. Menton and Mr. Mr. Willie. Willie, which that, that is a little bit of a concern for me because I think I said his name and he didn't. He should have corrected me, but that's my bad for not. He corrected there. Okay. I'm pretty sure I. Okay. Anyway, so hey, not the biggest deal in the world, but just <laughs> I feel really dumb, but. My grandmother was a Willie. And one branch of the family is white. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you. Are they spelt that way? Okay. I just. Really? Well, that's good to know. Interesting. Honest mistake. Oh, just, I don't know. Anyway, any other input? I was surprised when they said Patrick Beerman. I mean, I guess I wasn't because I kind of had that, like, this is how it is, but. That one, I, I kind of was like, wow, because we kind of liked him. And then when they were like, he came out, he was egotistical, you know, military came through. I was like, yeah, I can I can see that. Because he was the one where I was like, oh, my gosh, he went on and on and on and on, which is great. But, I mean. I did like him. I, I did. Him did. Very well. mm -hmm. yeah. And that's where I was surprised because they I were was like. Surprised. I was surprised yes. by what they had to say about Patrick mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that he was military? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was surprised yeah, he, that well, too. I he heard it with the first 20 minutes of the first question. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I was about you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It did it was very long take forever. I, I was yeah, for that too. too. It was very long. Mm -hmm. But you know, even with that military um, background and the stuff that, you know, the questions that we asked him too, um, he just like really wants to have a good relationship with people. He wants to be yeah. collaborative. He wants to have that dialogue and and unite and he just seemed very that he worked with children and he was diverse in, with the community too he was out there all the time um, he was just very super positive I mean, he came right out of the gate and was just like wow this, this guy's exciting and um, he said he wants every cog in the wheel to know what's going on I liked also that he had um uh, double major in business and marketing, and he taught business for nine and a half years. I thought that was good to have that background, too, along with his other stuff. Um, he likes to delegate the ability to make decisions, praising people. He's willing to praise people that do a good job, if they don't mind being praised in public, he said. Um, he said he doesn't have all the answers, but um, he's got um, passion and compassion. It was very long-winded. Well, and the only thing I mean, that not, came ne not so negative, but came to that, be so negative about it. But right, no, that, but the only thing that came out of like his, like I, I honed in on that question where I was like, he's going to be a micromanager. Number five, where it says your leadership skills and supervisory, where he was kind of like, yeah, this is what it is. But ultimately, it comes back to me, and I'll give you a little bit of leeway until I trust. So that that was the one thing that I. That bothered me because I I've been in a position where I've been micromanaged and it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. I didn't get that out of him at all. And and going back to the military background, like I know um, my brother's in the military and he because they go they're in the military they are taught to follow process and when they talk sometimes they talk and they kind of maybe sound arrogant, but. That's their diligence and their way of following the process. So sometimes those kind of people might come across one way, but they're really not. Because my brother's like the nicest guy in the world, and he, he he's not arrogant, but he stands tall. He's his back, and when he talks to you, he talks to you directly. And that's what this guy, he said, I'm direct and to the point. Mm -hmm. um, 
open communication. He even said um, what he likes about his staff is he wants, when you come to him with a problem, he, he would like you to say, okay, how would you like me, or what, what's your solution to it? What would you think, what do you want to do? What would you think we should do? And to me, that's not micromanaging. That's getting input from them saying, okay, I'm here for you, but what do you think? What do you think we should do? And that kind of stuck out with me. Um, and being a recruiter shows me the ability that you can get along with a whole lot of different people because you get a whole lot coming in through the military. And being a recruiter, he does have to learn to deal with all different kind of people. So that kind of experience put a, a flag up going, wow, that's good. Um, he's got experience with families in the military. He has to deal with families with their their children in there and, and when there's issues. I mean, it just, he, he actually was very impressive to me just because of a lot of his background. Well, and the only other thing is when he said, you will not change me. I was like, okay, that to me was like a little bit scary because like I said, in what we talked about, it's ebb and flow. You know, you have to be able to say, okay, if it's something you don't like, you're not going to change my way of thought. It, you have to be able to say, okay, well, when we are going to work through these things and how you would do it differently, kind of maybe work with that and, and piggyback off that. But when he said, you won't change me, this is who I am, I was kind of like, oh, boy. Well, it's I, black and white. I didn't get that out of him, I guess. And maybe I missed that or whatever, but I didn't get that out of him, that he was going to just be, you're not going to change me. Because I bet you if your kids come to you, Jamie, and said, this is this, you're probably going, no, you're not going to change me. This is the way I think. I mean, we all kind of have that into us where we're working an age where it's kind of hard to change anyway. But I think working with people, his ability to work with people, I mean, his background in dealing with people had to say something. He was there for many years. So is there none that we're going to eliminate? Because if we're <laughs> I, not going to, then yeah. let's just I set up the time to, to do the next interview. <laughs> like I said. Well, but then we're not doing it Thursday night. Because well, I think we have to eliminate. Fine. Yeah, I think we have I to eliminate. I, I, I want to eliminate. I, I think too. we're at the point where... We need to keep moving forward. Well, that's just kind of like pushing along like we're in a hurry. Well, this, me, this, like was, hurry. this was... It's, pretty, it's very common. This was, yeah, this mentioned. was what the timeline has been set up. It's very common. I mean, that's um, just how they do it. I have kind of asked, I just don't remember, um, what did we hear about Mr. Willie um, as far as people that maybe called to References or help in the enforcement unit. Or the what I I talked about. Um, he he didn't want us. I mean, it was just they they already you know couldn't read them. He didn't. This is someone that you called. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I talked to two different people, mm -hmm. and um, you know had you know just kind of just average information that I received, and he definitely was not one that mm -hmm. we you know was a fit for the military, and he just did not want. And then mm -hmm. it takes me back to Patrick that you that you were talking about. And um, Patrick was very much there wasn't really a negative about him at all. Just very much straightforward, very black and white, um, very upbeat. Um, you know, he gives you answers that you need. And that's those are the comments that I heard. Um, he's a hard worker. So I, I didn't hear anything that would have given me a red flag about him. Mm -hmm. I did. I guess I was I just, no, no, tonight no. when the community was talking about, you know, criticism right away and how you do things differently and, you know, more passionate, you know, he's passionate if it benefited him or helped him. And that comment about the LHS, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, you know, I just I kind of raised a concern in my mind. Those are pieces that I didn't hear prior to. Mm -hmm. so, I was just going to say, I did talk to that staff member in Wilmer where he he works with them because mm -hmm. I've known this person for many years and I thought, oh, and, but I haven't talked to her for quite a few years either, so she was surprised when I called. But anyway, um, she said, he's great. Pat is great. She said, if, if he leaves here, it it's bad because she said, we really like having him here. And I said, well, is that just your opinion or mm -hmm. are there others that, you know, I wanted to. I wanted her to be honest, and she said, no, he's, everything he does, he does really well. That's why it's like, mm -hmm. I really kind of like that one. 
I want to for sure keep that one wrong for a second interview. Because when your staff tells you that, mm -hmm. that's a big thing for me. Yeah, I I really liked them after we interviewed them. I and this was two people ago. I was really glad that they were there. I'm a little worried about divisiveness. I'm a little worried about that too. Yeah. Also, the black and white thing, because I think we had another candidate that said it's not black and white. It's just gray lines. There's a lot of gray area. Mm -hmm. It's just in like the middle. And I don't know, you guys. I'm I'm torn. To be honest with you. <laughs> Well, Brian had made the case for Mr. Menton and Mr. Wiley to come back for second interviews. Is there any other support for that? I'd like to see Bierman and Wiley. Me too. I would like if to I see. have to pick two, those would be the two of them. I definitely want to see Mr. Menton interviewed again. I think, as Brian said, he deserves to be. Um, Deserves another chance. You can ask more specific to what Tom was saying. How would you do things differently? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't we didn't dive into that. I mean, if he had some reservation on even sharing, I don't know, but I feel like you know he's he clearly wants to do this. Mm -hmm. He's he, he knows how this district is up against him, mm -hmm. and he's got he's formed the relationship. I definitely want to get Mr. Matt in this interview. Jamie. I want to give Mr. Men an interview as well, a second one, because I do feel like there were reservations. You know, like, even when the community said his was the fastest, but it had to be. You know, I mean, he had to. That's professional. You don't. And I. I well, our interview was more faster, too, partly because right. he knows us. And we know him. Right. And that is probably the same here. Um, if, if it comes down to Wiley and Bierman. I'd have to go with Beerman over Wiley. Just because I, I don't, I felt like there was, like like you said, pot stirring. I think I would agree with you, um, and partly because we have interviewed in front of the district. Yes. Um, you know, I think that would be the case. That's how I was feeling coming in to this. Um, you know, another thing I did mention about Wiley, too, is um, you know, he did say that they put up two homes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. and that part is concerning to me. Yeah. Um, leaving, you know, I want somebody that your wife and kids here and you know, engage in the community events on weekends mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And I mean that, that's nothing he can control, but he did he was very honest yep. with us mm -hmm. yep. when he discussed that with us. Um, that he was leaving on the weekends and you know, just that's his life right now. Okay. Um well, can I, do you, do you want me to, like, make a motion, like? Yeah. I'd like I, to hear what everybody's, are we, are we doing two, I mean, are we going to just go with two or three, or can we bring all three then? I think we talked two. I would like to see two, just because that's. Narrowing, narrowing down. Yes. Yes, a uh, motion and a second need to be made, and if we want to stick to the same timeline we had, which is 6 o'clock on Thursday. Um, that would be also helpful to note. Well, I'll make a motion to bring back James Menton and Patrick Bierman for a second interview. Okay. Motion is made by Jamie Boleyn, um, seconded by Melissa Sagadell, to bring back Patrick Bierman and James Menton for a second interview. It's okay if it's on Thursday at 6 p.m. in the district office, as, as was the, the schedule. Yeah. Um, any other discussion on that? I have discussion on it still. Um, I'm still looking at we have some candidates out there that I feel with this whole process, this is a very big deal. We're in a quandary right now. And I admire the fact that so many people really like Mr. Minton. Because I do too. 
I'm looking for somebody for the district that can come in with a fresh mind that has no ties that can try to put this, help us get moving forward again. I just feel it's not fair to him to be tied to all this stuff because he's been here for the last five years and he's been part of two administrations now that have had difficulties. So I think we need some new blood coming in. I hope and pray he would stay on as K through 12 principal because he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. The kids, I can't say enough nice things about him, but nice doesn't run your school. You have to have people that have a financial background that aren't friends with everybody. Not that this new superintendent's not going to come in and be friends, and but I think the staff could use some fresh people too. And if that takes a little bit of time, I think that's okay because we have no plan. It's not like we have a plan and we're moving forward. So maybe we need somebody to start with the building blocks and start over one by one and start piecing this community back together, little by little. So God bless everybody that loves Mr. Menden, because I do, do too. I personally feel that this is too big for him. This is over his head. And he's going to get hurt because he's so emotionally attached to too many people in here, where someone else coming in the district has no emotional ties. I'm not trying to, I, I, sometimes I just get so emotional, so I'm sorry. That's just kind of Teresa Jacobs in a nutshell. Okay. So, I do agree with you. Anyway, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm over here volunteers so too. Because Mr. Minton has done a good job for this community. He has. If to put him in a position like this, when, I mean, yeah, he's been here. I get that. But it's not fair to him and it's not fair to the community to have somebody that doesn't have experience, some kind of something behind them. We are put in this position to do the best we can with the candidates we have. And, and granted, I mean, yeah, Mr. Minton doesn't have the experience. And the community wants us to find somebody here that has experience that's going to be here and and know what to do in the situation. It's not that Mr. Mint doesn't, because he's, he's great with the kids. He's great. But I'm afraid that we're going to put him in a position that we're going to start all over again. And I don't want him to have to go there, and I don't want to go there. I really don't. I think that for a lot of the reasons that both of you just mentioned, to me, is the reason why Mr. Mint did go to a second interview, because he has served this district so well for the past five years. And I think that if he thinks that he can do this job, and I think that we need to trust him and at least give him another interview and a shot at it, and if we ask him, ask him to come up with a question to give us some other opinion. Because I don't think that he would, and, and also we only have one candidate with any superintendent experience, so this Kathy Chairman doesn't have any either. So what makes us think that he's going to be better Well, and I think too, like I, I mean, you, you talk about it not being fair to, to Mr. Menton. Uh, honestly, let's be real; it's not going to be fair to anybody who is put in this position. I mean, it's. I think. I mean, we would be lying if we said it, it's. We'd be lying if we said things are hunky dory and life is great. So, I think anybody who's been, who would be coming into that position, he already knows what's there. He knows what he has at hand. He sees. He's been at these meetings, so that's where I think. That's where I stand, where I, I want him to have a second interview. Well, to me, it basically sounds like everybody's got their mind up, made up, so I don't think anything anybody can say or do or whatever is going to matter. Well, there's just, so. there's a motion in the second. Yeah. yeah. The I think we're having discussion on that yep. before, so yep. I, that's how I feel yep. about it. I think he deserves another interview. Well, I read it. It's great, but I guess our motion was made to go. All right. Any other discussion? Hearing nothing, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Nay. So we are four to three, right? Right, okay. All right, motion carries. Um, so 
couple things just to follow up on that. I will try to get all these scanned in tonight, all the community things, and send them out to you. Um, not really sure how I'm going to get that done, but I will. Um, and then Thursday. Uh, could you send me by tomorrow some deeper questions? I, I know, I mean. How many? Well, probably just one or two. If. I, some of these that are on here that we didn't have today could be. Right, but I just if they're not if they're not hitting what people want to know, then I guess. Right. Right. Because what we didn't get to um, with Mr. Menton, we 15, 16, 17, and 18. Well, 18 we did because it was the, do you have any questions for us? Um, but there have, there were probably more than that. Let me, um, let me see what I can come up with and I will send, you know, maybe take this, the couple that weren't answered and also maybe some other secondary um, questions and send them out by tomorrow. You guys can say, hey, I like one, three, five, and seven, you know, and we'll just take the consensus of what, what everybody likes. That's okay. So, but I will get these scanned in tonight and sent out to you so you can read them. Actually, uh, maybe, we should, maybe we should make copies. Yeah, that might, it's a lot, but um, if you want to wait around for the copies, if you want these tonight, that would be good. Uh, but with that, that's our last um, a business thing for tonight. So, could I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion is made by Brian. Seconded, seconded, by, Benson. seconded by Benson. And we will vote. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carries.